Today, we are going to explore explicit versus implicit methods in finite element analysis. These are two powerful approaches used in engineering simulations. Understanding when to use explicit or implicit methods can significantly impact accuracy, speed and computational efficiency in solving complex problems. Let's break it down. What are explicit and implicit methods? In finite element analysis, solvers are used to compute how structures and materials behave under different conditions. These solvers are divided into two categories. One is explicit method. This solves equations step by step using small time increments, making it ideal for fast dynamic simulations like crash tests and impact analysis. And the next is implicit method. This solves equations by considering the entire system at once, making it suitable for steady state and static problems like structural loads and thermal analysis. Think of it like predicting the outcome of a falling object. In explicit method, this tracks every millisecond of motion. Example, high speed car crash simulation. The implicit method determines the final position directly. Example, the bridge load analysis. The key difference between choosing explicit and implicit methods is depending upon the time sensitivity. Explicit for short duration, high speed events, implicit for long term static problems. The computational cost. Explicit methods require small time steps but more steps overall. Implicit requires fewer steps but is computationally intense in every step. When you are considering the problem type, explicit for highly non-linear problems with large deformations. Consider implicit for linear or static problems where you are experiencing small deformations. For example, designing car bumpers for crashworthiness requires explicit FEA to simulate real-time deformation whereas analyzing building foundations under a steady load uses implicit FEA for stability. Both these explicit and implicit methods are used across multiple industries again. Firstly, automotive industry, explicit FEA for airbag deployment and crash test, implicit FEA for chassis stiffness analysis. On the aerospace engineering, explicit for bird strike simulations on aircraft wings, implicit for landing gear strength assessments. On the manufacturing area, explicit for metal forming and stamping processes. Implicit for static load calculations on fixtures. On biomedical engineering, explicit for simulating bone fractures. Implicit for joint replacement stress analysis. There are multiple challenges even in this. Of course, there are challenges everywhere. While both these methods are effective, they have their limitations also. It is important that one should know what their limitations are. Explicit methods struggles with precision in long duration events, whereas implicit methods requires high computational power for complex non-linear problems. Engineers often use a combination of both approaches depending on the simulation goal, meaning with the type of simulation what they wanted to perform. Why understanding these methods is important? Selecting the right method helps engineers in reducing the simulation time while maintaining accuracy. Optimize design by predicting failures even before physical testing. Improves cost efficiency by choosing the best computational approach. And that's a deep dive into explicit versus implicit methods in FEA. Whether you are analyzing a car crash impact, aircraft safety or a structural durability, choosing the right solvers is a very key factor to achieve accurate results. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more engineering insights.